Hi guys, Ashantin here. How are you? I am on the Minecraft tree server, tree season 4, and I am standing in a graveyard. <laughs> I've come to the view that even though this is next to a witch's house behind me, and even though we are here at night, this is not a spooky graveyard. This is just a very, very pretty graveyard. I think I do pretty better than I do spooky. Anyway, we have a couple of new graves and I thought I would show you those before I go on and chat a little bit about why you're not going to hear much from me in November. So, first of all, I'm playing in the dark here and having some interesting times with various keys. Um, at one point I found myself trying to broadcast on Twitch, which was uh, not anything I'd ever envisaged doing. So we have two new graves. One is Jackson, R.I.P. Spots Jr. Death by well. I kind of lost him. Oh dear. <laughs> and this one is the Dog Miner. Three of the 14 angels with fangs. Death by portal glitch. So he had 14 dogs who were his angels with fangs. If any of you are watching this and you don't know uh, about 14 angels, one of the really nice things about playing on a server with people and playing with the same people for a long period of time is that you do build up certain traditions and certain things that you um, are all used to. And 14 angels is one of the things on our server. One of the reasons we say that is that I did a big video just for the dog miner. And I think I'm going to go into the pub and have a sleep in my pub for the night. Hi, Royal Oak. Welcoming as ever. I do like this build. I think it's because I feel so much at home in English pubs. Um, let's quickly have a quick sleep and then we'll carry on during the daylight. And if any of you are wondering about that, I made this video for the dog miner, and it's just called Video for the Dog Miner. And in it, I quoted um, a poem from a very well known opera. And so, wandering around Jackash, I'm going to talk as we go. I must say, I've always been mystified as to why we have holes in the corner of our racetrack. Jackson and I had quite a discussion uh, about how the racetrack should be built because he's from Australia and I think he thought the racetrack should be dirt like this and sort of slightly warm um, as I've done the paths here. Let's take the XP. And of course coming from England where it rains a great deal, um, I'm used to racetracks that are like green velvet lawns, and this is indeed an English racetrack. Uh, Jackson left it like this to please me. But I have to say, we don't have holes in the corner. And so, Jackson, please tell me what happens. Why do we have holes in the corner? I put some steps here just to make it easier to get up into this little area, which is my tree farm and the greenhouse, the bit that flames and built. Over there is the started as the colour room and ended up as the block room. Great fun building that. We're at a slight hiatus in this server because we limited the size of the map because it was a decision we had to make, and indeed it's MJ's decision because we play on his realm server. Whether we actually increase the size of the map, and we're coming to the point on this server where we need to do that because within the limitations of our world boundary. We do not have a jungle and we do not have a Mesa. And I think those of us who are builders would really like those things. But the reason we limited our map size, Pretty Bridge, Jackson built this, um, is because if we are going, if we decide to move to a bigger server, then a limited map size makes it much easier. Just a thought, Dorg. Yeah, very good thought too. Dorg is so good at playing Minecraft. I have a single player world that has a lot of lag. Isn't that great looking at that from here? 
is that growing? Does MJ come and work? And it's quite difficult to tell. And my single player world is suffering from lag horribly. And so Dork has been helping me with lag busting. I may make a few lag busting videos. Dog, that cathedral roof is looking terrific, and I love the rose mullion window. Really looking good. And Dog's given me permission to show you his new build, which is around the back here. The reason I am not going to be around in November, I'm recording this on a Tuesday, and on Thursday, hoograh, hoograh. On Thursday we fly down to the coast of Portugal and we catch, or board rather, a sailing ship and we sail across the Atlantic Ocean to Barbados. As you can imagine, I mean this is a real sailing ship, I'm not talking about some vast cruise liner um, with a you know, couple of massive engines. We do have an engine but it's for emergencies, but we are actually sailing. This is a really nice build door. I like the colours and look, guys, look at that proportion. That is just gorgeous. Very, very nice build dog. And dog builds like I do, he builds into the landscape. Um, some people tend to flatten uh, a whole patch. Ooh, I wonder if those are beehives. <laughs> and then they will build whatever they want to build, but Daub always builds into the landscape. And somehow, when you have buildings that sort of sit in the landscape, they do look wonderful. It's a bit plain at that end, Daub, but otherwise I think that's absolutely gorgeous. Whoa! I'm going back up to the spawn village to see what's happening there. So, my internet connection is going to be dependent on the roll and the pitch of the boat. When we are on the crest of a wave, we might pick up internet, and when we plough down into the trough, we may not, which is not the normal thing that affects one's internet connection. As you can imagine, internet and sailing boats don't really go. I'm hoping I'll be able to pick up a good internet connection when we reach Barbados, and so if it does turn rainy, uh, I may play some Minecraft when I get to Barbados, in between swimming in the warm Caribbean Sea and lazing on the sandy beaches. Gummy, I don't know if you're watching this video, but I know you love beaches, and that would be your absolute paradise. And pigs may fly, <laughs> all on their own. Hello, Mr. Pig. <laughs> Amazing what you find on these servers, isn't it? Flying pigs and our beautiful houses. I still love this area, I really do. I've never built medieval before and I'm learning so much and loving the experience. Um, and this of course is my spawn house, which I still like very much. So, I, one of the reasons for making this video was to you know, say to you guys, look, um, you know, you're not going to hear from me from November. I'm probably not going to be around much on, even on Twitter. Um, because with no internet connection, what can you do? So I may not be around making videos and playing on our servers, but I shall greatly look forward to seeing all of you when I return, which will be at the end of November. And we will see you then. Until then, bye-bye, guys.